Ay, yan po yung sinabi ni, ni King David. Dito po tayo magsimula. Sa Romans chapter 4, verses 6. Sabi po is this. Amen. Yung pong Romans chapter 4, kung meron po magkatanong, ano ang pinaka-text verse po ng buong series natin. Uh, sabi ko nga, Lord, nung nag-prepare po ako ka, ka, kahapon, and even kanina, sabi ko, Lord, this is the last Thursday na magkakaroon kami ng series regarding sa righteousness. Hindi po natin i-declare na all good things come to an end because sa Kristiyano, hindi nagtatapos ang goodness. On the contrary, the Bible declares, goodness follows you. Amen? Pero, nung po sa series po na pag-aaral ng righteousness, this is the last Thursday. Pwede po sa inyo mo, last Thursday na kapatid. Amen? And the, the Lord is my witness po na it has brought a lot of good things sa buhay ko. Especially po nung tayo po ay nag-aaral ng righteousness. So, uh, para po hindi po tayo ma-disconnect, ma- yung verse 5, ito po yung ating pinaka-text, sabi, but to him who does not work, but believes on him who justifies the ungodly, his faith is accounted to for righteousness. Nagkaralan po natin na ikaw po tayo, tayo po, God wants us to declare na we are right before the Lord, not because of our performance and because of the performance of God. Performance of Jesus on our behalf. So sabi po rito, now knowing itong gift ng righteousness, pero po sinabi si King David sa verse 6, sabi is this, Just as David also describes the blessedness of the man to whom God imputes righteousness apart from works. I love po yung New Living Translation, NLP. Doon po ako naiinlove ngayon sa translation na yun. Kaakibat po siya ng Bible. But sabi ito with this, King David spoke of this, describing the... Ano po ang ginagawa ng gift ng righteousness sa isang tao? Sabi po, the Lord was talking sa akin noong isang araw. The Lord was speaking po sa akin. And the Lord was saying, Anak, for the longest time, madami sa mga born again, alam ko yung ganito, na huwag ka, lang maging, huwag ka lang mag-witness sa salita, maging witness ka sa sa gawa. And then, uh, nung kami po tinitrain ni Pastor, tinitrain po kami ni Pastor Akora, kung mayroon po akong uh, goal in my heart, the Lord, pagpasok ko sa school, pagpasok ko sa trabaho, kung saan man ako magpunta, I pray na mag-bring ako glory sa name mo. Sino po nagkaroon ng ganong desire? Eh, may marami pong ganun na, Lord, I want to be a witness. I want to be a testimony. And then the Lord spoke po sa akin na, the Lord was saying, anak, actually, the greatest witness you have is your happiness. In this world, ano nyo po, bago, bago dumating yung closeness before the Lord, bago po makita ng tao yung, yung closeness mo before the Lord, bago makita ng tao yung favor mo before the Lord, ang unang-unang makikita niya sa iyo is yung kanigayahan mo. And according po sa verse na to, hindi dinadala po ng material things yung kanigayahan, hindi money, na, hindi sinabi ni King David na describing the happiness of a person receiving a lot of money, uh, happiness of a person having answered prayer. Ang sabi mo sa Bible is this, our happiness is based on knowing you are declared righteous before the Lord. May it be our happiness po. Na, wala pong masama sa pera. Do you agree with me? Ang nakakaligaya every time na, pare, bigla may mag-aabot sa inang pera, be it 1,000, be it 10,000, kung ano man pong halaga yan, it brings happiness. But according to the Bible is this, our happiness that the real lies in being dis- described by the Bible as righteous before Him. What the Lord is saying is this, let your happiness dwell there. So kanina po, hindi po ba napansin, nung no, no, pag-akit ko po rito, I go, take time. Parang sometimes, di ba po, pag mo sa umaga, parang nauunahan ka ng kailangan gawin, and sometimes, naunahan ka ng stress, naunahan ka ng pressure, naunahan ka ng madaming dapat gawin. Pero sabi sa Bible, diba, seek ye first His righteousness. And sabi ito, seek first His kingdom. Kasama po sa kingdom na yun is, sabi po sa, sa Romans 10, sabi po, righteousness, peace, and joy. And alam niyo po, take time. Take time to enjoy what you have. Tingin po kayo sa akin, kung ito pong mundo natin, madami mga instant, Tayo po ngayon ay puno-puno ng mga quick na mga quick success, quick food, fast food. Even yung, yung pagkain natin, may fast food, walang slow food. Lagi yung puro fast at parang, uh, parang lagi sa convenience. Alam po yun, what it takes away po from people is yung appreciation of what you have. Sobrang bilis mo. Alam po yun, parang sa mga driver po rito na nag-drive sa Skyway, di ba? So, sobrang bilis mo. Yung, yung, yung surroundings. What the Lord is saying is this, take time, slow down. 
And then, enjoy. Para sabi na po ni Lord, look at the birds of the air. So, sobrang bilis mo yung birds. Zoo! Zoo! What the Lord is saying is this, take time. Take time to enjoy what the Lord is giving you. Especially, the gift of righteousness na binigay niya sa iyo. I-appreciate mo yun na yung ibang tao, parang they, they walk sa buhay na to na parang hakagulan sila ng mali nila, but not you. Yung ibang mga tao, meron silang iniisip na they are under curse, merong karma kasi may ginawa silang mali, so hakagulan sila ng mali. But the Lord declared because Jesus paid for your mistake. What will follow you is not punish, is not evil thing. What will follow you is His goodness. Take time to appreciate that. Take time to enjoy that. And be happy. Hallelujah. Ito mga katabi mo, malikaya ka ba? Amen. I love the amplified version ng verse 7. Sige, uh, uh, I be, David congratulates the man. Sabi po sa amplified version, the David, King David daw po today, kinakongratulate daw and pronounces a blessing on him to whom God credits righteousness apart from the work he does. You know, bakit gila ito kaligayan nalang si King David? King David never experienced this. King David never experienced the righteousness of God. You know why? King David experienced na may ginawa siyang mali, hinabol siya ng kamalian. One time, nakipag, uh, nagkaroon siya ng relationship, nag-affair siya kay, Yura, uh, kay Bathsheba, asawa ni Uriah. Ginawa po niya, nagkaroon siya ng uh, plano, pinapatay niya si Uriah para lang mapangasawa niya si Bathsheba. Nagkaroon sila ng anak. And then one time, dumating yung Nathan the prophet. Sabi ni Nathan is this, because of your sin, the Lord loves you so much that hindi kanya papatayin. The, I, I, the, the, the Lord was saying kay, kay, kay King David, mahal pa rin kita, pero kailangan may magbayad. So, kukunin ko yung kabayaran ng kasalanan mo sa anak mo. King David never experienced what we have. Na pag pinagawa kang mali, you can always run to Jesus and say, Lord, buti na lang binayaran mo yung mali. That's why King David congratulates you. Sabi niya, hindi mo alam ang pakiramdam na matayan ng anak dahil sa pagkakamali. And sabi mo ni King David is this, verse 7, Blessed and happy and to be envied are those whose iniquities are forgiven and whose sins are covered up and completely... Three things King David said. Blessed, happy, to be envied. And sad to say po, what I mean, believers is this. We act as if hinahabol tayo ng kamalian natin. We act as if we're never close kay God. We act na parang merong parang may tinik sa konsensya na I, I miss something. Meron akong hindi nagawa before the Lord. I think may mangyayari pangit. We miss the gift. Nagkainibihan ko ba tayo? I pray for that today, we are embracing it and we are saying, Lord, I am happy, I am blessed, I have to be ended. Pwede ba i-congratulate mo yung patabi mo? Congratulations ka ba? You are the right one of God in Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Before po tayo magpatuloy, doon po sa ating last na pag-aaral, sabi ko po, Lord, ang dami pong nasa, ang dami pong laman ng, ng, ng aking puso. And uh, hindi ko alam na kung paano ilalabas to. And then, ako po yung una nagpa-practice nung tinuro po sa akin, Lord, na just take time, just slow down, I love the Lord. So, before po tayo pumunta doon, uh, meron po akong gusto lang po i-share po today. Uh, kasi po nung uh, last Sunday po na si Pastor Ferdy po nagsalita, uh, tinuro po na yung parable ng, ng sower. And alam niyo po yun, yung, uh, for the longest time, meron po akong verse po dun sa parable ng sower na nakastock po ako. Na hindi po po alam. Yung, na, na, natanong niyo na po ba bakit sabi sa parable ng sower, may 30 fold, may 60 fold, may 100 fold. Alam niyo po yun yung tagdap po po yung buong message. Alam niyo po yun, tagdap po po yung buong message na ganda sa parable ng sower. Kaya naman yung Lord God, kung... Kung tinanim mo sa puso namin yung yung uh, word and ito ay namunga, bakit may 30-fold, may 60-fold, but hindi 100-fold? Hindi na lang sinabi na every time it's planted in your heart is 100-fold. Well, I, I love for the answer of God. The answer of God came, naging ito po. Pansinin niyo po ito. 30-fold, 60-fold, and 100-fold. Uh, by the way, lahat po tayo agree na sa Bible po yan. Ayun, yung 30-fold, 60-fold, 100-fold, lahat po yun, whether 30-fold ka, whether 60-fold ka, whether 100-fold ka, ikaw ay it's planted on good ground. Yung nga lang sabi ko is this, meron doon pong napaplant ng 30-fold, may napaplant ng 
60-fold, the paplat ng 100 fold. The explanation of the Lord was so wonderful. Ito po yun. 30 fold means 30% okay, 70% hindi pa. Sometimes when you receive your word, when you receive your healing, majority, and po yung symptoms, 70%. When the Bible declares, may 30% na sa'yo. And sabi, sabi nga po ni Pastor Ferdi last Sunday, as you understand, sabi nga po sa Luke 8.13, sabi, as you continue to bear with the word with patience, your 30-fold will go to 60-fold. 60-fold, ano po ang 60-fold? 60, maganda. 40. Ibig sabihin, this time, dati, majority, pangit. Yung symptoms mo, uh, you're claiming healing and healing and healing and you're nakaplant sa heart mo yun. And Lord God, I, I, I understand that because of your stripes, I am healed. Pero majority, sickness mo, uh, ano po yung mga symptoms mo, huwag kang mag-ala, probably nasa 30-fold ka. Huwag kang, huwag mo sabihin na walang, walang pinuntahan yung word. Now, kung sakali dumating yung progression mo na 60-fold, the Lord is declaring, yes, ito po yung, uh, tawag po nito, ito po yung, uh, 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 Tawag mo encouragement sa madami sa atin na yes, pwede majority nararanasan mo na pero may mga konti pa rin yung symptoms. You are in the 64. And sabi po ni Lord, just continue, bear with it with patience, you'll reach what? Then isa po ko, ba't po sinabi yun? Sabi ko, Lord, pupunin ko yun kasi po kanyang sa sinuturo namin ngayon, righteousness of faith. Meron po sa atin, I really believe, meron po sa atin dito ngayon na pag mo ng righteousness of faith, Pag declare mo na, Lord, I am righteous because of you. Madami sa inyo, naranasan nyo na po agad yung closeness before the Lord. Meron, po, meron namang magsabi, Pastor Tim, uh, uh, tinanggap ko yung message na yan, tinanggap ko yung mensahe na yan, may declare ko siya araw-araw. Pero bakit ganun, Pastor Tim? Ganun pa rin yung nangyayari sa akin. I would like to declare, it is already in your heart. You may be experiencing 34. Continue, bear with it with patience. Nagkahin na diyan po ba tayo? Maliwanag, what, uh, what I'm saying is this, whatever the result ng ating pinag-aaralan po today, that we are studying the righteousness of God. At ayun, at, at, masahin natin, Luke 8, verse 13. Tanya po is this, Luke 8, verse 13. Alright? Alright. But the ones on the rock are those who, when they hear, receive the word with joy, and these have no root, who believe for a while, and in time of temptation fall away, verse 13. So the ones, verse 15, sorry, po ako na but the ones that fell on the good ground are those who, having heard the word with a noble heart and good heart, keep it and bear fruit with patience. Ah, patience. So, kaya po nagaligay ka ng righteousness by faith. Sabi ni Pastor Tim, the righteous cry out and the Lord hears. Bakit ngayon I'm declaring and I'm believing I'm righteous? Wala pa rin nangyayari. Patience. Bear fruit with patience. Sabi ni Pastor Tim, ah, no, no evil shall befall the righteous. Pagkatapos sabi magturo, nagtatapilok ako, ah, nagpahatid ako. Sabi, sabi no, no, no grave danger shall overtake. Bakit ganun? Patience. Keep on receiving it. Keep on ah, persevering with it. Nagkain din ako ba tayo? Maliwanag ko ba? Maliwanag po ba tayo? We are declaring we are in the 30-fold, we are in the 60-fold, we are in the... Amen? So tonight, let's seal po yung ating pagtuturo ng righteousness by faith. Lord, ayaw ko pa siyang bitawan. The Lord knows po na ayaw ko po umalis dito, pero uh, sabi nga po, four weeks lang. And the Lord has already worked for us. Amen po ba? We start po sa ating pag-aaral, conclusion po ng ating series for today by reading po John chapter 6. John chapter 4. John chapter 6 verse 28 meron pong mga lumapit po kay Jesus one time po na si Jesus po ay nag nag uh, alito po sa lupa may mga lumapit po sa kanya sabi po is this then they said to him kay Jesus po what shall we do that we may work the works of God I love the new living translation sabi po is this they replied, what does God want us to do? So parang, uh, I love po yung second edition. Uh, sabi ko kay Ate Grace mo kasi pabago ko yung NLT. Kasi meron po second edition ng NLT. Ang sabi po doon is this, uh, we want to perform God's work too. What should we do? Yung po yung, ano. And 
Yung ito po mga lumapit ako kay Jesus, most probably sila po yung mga nakakita kay Jesus na nag-turn ng water into wine. Ito po yung mga tao na nakakita, imagine nyo po si Jesus, kayo po yung uh, mga uh, nanonood po, and nakita nyo po si Jesus, konti lang yung bread, pinadami yung bread. Ito po ang application ngayon na to is this, wala kang pera, bin- hinati mo yung pera, pag- paghati mo yung pera, at, uh, yung, yung, yung pera nyo, pwedeng siguro 20 pesos, paghati mo yun, yung 20 pesos na yun was able to pay the rago bill, uh, uh, water bill, uh, matrikula ng anak, alam mo that's how they saw it. They saw it na this person was really full of the wonders of God. This person, this Jesus was working miracles upon miracles upon miracles. So, one time, they got a chance. Siguro po ito yung time na si Jesus nagkaroon ng Q&A portion. <laughs> para kuro ko siya ng turo, turo ng turo. Most probably, most people na kalagay sa bahay ko, most probably nagkaroon siya na, okay, uh, any question, any any anything that you want to they 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 ask and said we want to to work God works too we want we want to turn the water into wine we we want to to uh, raise the dead uh, uh, from from into life we want to heal the sick uh, imagine po mga kapatid imagine po na meron kang kamag-anak na may cancer and one healing lang ng hands mo Ano po ngayon ka, sabi ko, Lord, I am just waiting for the manifestation na bumalik uli ngayon sa atin po na shadow mo lang Alam mo yun, yung invite ka nung kamag-anak mo na stage 4 cancer, pagdating mo doon, without ever telling anything, the, the power of that king. Imagine po na you have that power, you have you have that, yes, we have that, pero imagine it's in manifestation. Alam mo yun, hindi mo na kailangan ng dahan-dahan, just one, one lay hands. Hindi mo kahit na-late ka, namatay na yung kamag-anak mo, one lay hand, then... Ay, sabi nila is this, we want to perform God's work too. Now, tignan niyo po to. What is the focus ng mga tao? What is the focus ng mga tao? It is this. Jesus, we want what you have. Jesus, we want to do what you have done. What shall we? Sad to say, the focus of people is always do. Lord, ano pwede kong magawa? Ano, what, what can I do? Lord, na, may, kailangan ko ng break doon sa pinasas ko. Tell me what to do! Ay, if only pastor can tell me yung secret siya. Pastor, pwede ba, ma- pwede ba kita ma- ma-interview step by step? And even, I would, like to, I, I would like na malaman yung prayer mo word for word. Kasi, di ba po si pastor was testifying how he was delivered po sa problem niya sa... Uh, sa, sa, sa skin disease and even po sa cancer niya and even yung from poverty into prosperity alam mo madami po sa atin even po ako yung eh, kung, kung meron ka na pagkakataon you, wanna, you, wanna, you would like nagayahin what do I do? I love the answer of Jesus the answer of Jesus Jesus told them this is what God wants you to do pwede ba sabi mo sa tabi mo this is what God wants you to do Alright, kung sakali, parang, parang what the Lord is saying is this, kung adik ka sa dapat gawin, eto ang gusto ipagawa sa inyo, Lord. This is what God wants you to do. Believe. <laughs> Uli, think of all. The focus of men was do. The answer of Jesus is believe. Oh, we're, we're missing it. Amen? Uh, may, pwede pong may, mayroong tao dito, may, may, may isang tao dito, Pastor Tim, anong pwede kong gawin para mag-flow yung prosperity ko? Anong pwede kong gawin? The answer of God will be the same. Please teach me the steps! The answer of Jesus is the same. And not just believe po. Sabi rito, eh, pwede sabi, oh, maniwala lang, maniwala lang, magkaroon ng prosperity. No, no, no. Sabi po rito, tulad po nung napag-aralan natin before pa lang, at the very start ng ating pong pag-aaral, na our faith, meron pong target, meron po tayong nililit ni Lord kung saan natin gagamitin yung ating faith. Sabi, believe in Him whom He sent. The reason why I'm saying po is this, uh, the reason po ba ito sinasabi ko ngayon is, Madami po nagtatanong, Pastor Tim, anong magagawa na kung 
gift ng righteousness sa matrikula. Kailangan ko na pambay ng matrikula ng aking anak. Anong magagawa na itong mahiwala lang ako na I am righteous before the Lord and, and minsan nagkukulang kami ng, ng pera para, para pagbili ng pagkain. Anong magagawa na ito pambayad sa ating mga part? The Lord declared, if you want to work the works of God, believe in Him who is The answer is not good. The answer is not these things you need to follow. The answer is what? Sabi ko sa Galatians chapter 3, is this, Galatians 3 verse 5, binasa na po na dito before, babasahin po na dito ulit. Sabi, I ask you again, does God give you the Holy Spirit and work miracles among you because you obey the law of Moses? Of course not. It is because you believe the message you heard about Christ. Tingin po sa akin, Ano daw po ang nagpapamanifest sa iyo ng si Lord mag-work ng miracles? Every time the Lord finds your heart believing what He has done for you. Lagyan pa ng konting example para ikaw po ay naghihikahos sa, sa pera, sa, sa pambayad. And then, yung yung paghahanap mo ng pera, paghahanap mo ng pera, paghahanap mo ng pera, paghahanap ng pera, that does not allow the Lord to flow yung anointing niya to work miracle. What allows His hand to flow when you stop, when you say, Lord, maraming salamat because what Jesus has done on the cross, I am His righteousness, I am close to Him, I am favored by Him, Lord, You will shower down blessing upon me. Now, that releases How oh, hallelujah. Maliwa na tulad natin. Amen. Amen. Sad to say po, according to sa binasa natin, anak, balik tayo sa Romans, uh, sa John chapter 6. Sad to say, uh, verse 28. Sad to say po, mga kapatid, men are focused on do, focus on formula, focus on steps. And, ano ba yung Nung habang ako po nagpa-prepare, the Lord was speaking na po direct sa akin. Because, you know po, when you follow steps, when you follow formula, you do not need relationship. If you have a steps to follow, and then the Lord will just base yung, yung performance mo in following the steps, hindi mo na kailangan maayos yung relationship mo before the Lord. Basta maayos mo lang yung formula na yan. Even kahit hindi mo kinakausap si Lord, mapalaw mo lang yung steps na yan. Blessing is released. But, the thing is this, our success lies in our relationship before the Lord. We are successful not because of what we do. We are successful because we are the beloved sons of Jesus. Sons of God po pala. Maniwala po ba tayo? Man wants formula kasi they do not want relationship. Parang, Lord, ayaw ko kasi umasa sa'yo. Paano pag one day, magising ka na lang? Pag gising mo one day, maisip mo, maalala mo lahat ng kasalanan ko, kung aasa ako sa kabutihan mo sa akin, baka shaky, I want something concrete. I want something na nakikita ko. I want something. That's why we want formula. That's why we want action. That's why we want performance. Yung, gusto ko kasi, gusto ko kasi pastor team. Nasa kamay ko eh. Kasi para po sa kaling masira man, wala akong ibang sisisihin, kundi yun po yung nangyari sa Israelites 2,000 years ago, na nung, nung uh, ando po sila sa Egypt, nung sabi po ni Lord is this, darating yung darating yung angel ng death, and then what I want you to do, Israelites, from the uh, mouth of Moses is this, I want you to kill a Passover lamb, and then I want yung blood, ilagay mo sa doorpost and sa lintel. And then, for the longest time, you know po, I was asking, Lord, bakit doorpost and bakit lintel? And then suddenly, the Lord showed me, even the very actual reminds of the cross. Ha? A cross? Ha? A cross. To everywhere, everywhere, doon po sa, 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 sa bayan po ng Israelite, they were just, ah, uh, and then they were just uh, performing a gesture ng cross. Sabi, the blood, the blood. So, after po ng, ng night na yun, the, the, the angel of death came, it passed by to every house na may death. Ano pong ibig sabihin nun? Someone already died for this family. No need for anyone to die because someone died. 
That is our righteousness. That is that is our sin offering. That is Jesus, what He has done for us. So, and the reality of the Israelite is this. They enjoy that because someone died for them. They now experience blessing upon blessing. The next day, the very next day, po, they, they, they found out, they, find, they found favor before every Egyptian. So, they went out to the Israelites and they gave them one million. So, they went out to the Israelites, to Egypt, very prosperous. And according to the Bible, in, in uh, Exodus chapter 16, Alright? Ito na po yung moment where they were in the Red Sea. Now, tignan nyo po to. They were living under the blessing of Passover. Alright? They were living. Now, dito po nun, dito po sila ngayon sa, sa Red Sea, they murmured before the Lord. Sabi nila is this, Lord, bakit mo kami pinat, uh, dinala dito sa, 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 sa Red Sea para lang patayin? It's not Egypt, Egypt enough para patayin, para doon na lang kami mamatay. Bakit kaya mo pa kami dalhin? You know what? If I am the Lord, Siguro po, nagpaulan na ako. It was murmuring. How many believe murmur, murmuring is a sin? How many believe? Sabihin mo sa Diyos, sumayat ako patayin, Lord eh. Yan po, ako yung Diyos. Magsasalita ako sa siya. Papakinad ako na ako. Pero this is what happened. Their murmurings, ito ang response ni Lord. Moses, lift up your rod. I will divide the Red Sea. Walang pagalit. They were murmuring. Walang pagalit. Now, balik po tayo. Just days ago, they were doing po yung Passover lamb. Walang Passover lamb. Someone died in their place. Someone, uh, they don't need to receive the punishment because someone died for them. So, they were here in the Red Sea. Then, nag-murmur sila, nag-complain sila. God answered beautifully. Ano po kung ano nangyari? Nag-cross sila sa Red Sea. Kung ano po sa Exodus 16, pag, pag, pag cross nila dun sa, sa, sa Red Sea, dito po nauso yung tambourine dance, yung uh, tambourine ministry. Kumuha daw po ng tambourine si sila Miriam. And then, uh, nag, ano daw po sila, a song of Miriam. I think it's sa Exodus 16 yun na natin. No? Exodus 16 yun sinasabi ko. No? Nag, nag, Nag-sing sila, the Lord is wonderful. The Lord is good. After three days, walang tubig, Isang araw lang, ito, the Lord is good. Ano niyo po yun? Yung buhay ng Israelites, buhay ng buhay natin. Sunday, the Lord is good! The Lord is good! Wednesday, three days. Ano niyo? Yung iba nga po, naig pa yung Israelite eh. Hindi three days, Monday. Ano niyo yun? Sunday, lifting up the hand and declaring, the Lord is faithful, full of compassion. Tapos may pag... Ito po po yung napansin ko, si Pastor, magkasalita rito, sabihin, The Lord is good! Ay, God is good! Sasagot naman po yung tao, all the time! <laughs> Pero ang ibig sabihin pala ng all the, all the time na Sunday lang, kasi pagdating ng Monday, <laughs> complaining na, papatid, anong all the time? Alam mo uh, God is good every Sunday. Alam mo yan yung, kasi pagdating ng Monday, complain agad. So, ito po yung nangyari, that the Lord delivered them from the Red Sea and then after three days po there's no water then nung naghanap po sila ng water finally nakakita po sila ng tubig nakita po nila is bitter waters called Mara ano nyo po, I, I really believe po at this time dapat itong mga Israelites natuto na sabi nila, Lord, you have been faithful in the past, you will be faithful again, but no ang ginawa po ng mga Israelites is this they demanded kay Moses sila po ay nag-murmur again. Sila po ulit ay nag-complain. Nadiyan ba uh, uh, ate Ivy yung complaint nila? Oh, okay. Uh, nag-complain ulit sila. Again, papatayin mo ba kami dito sa, sa, sa tubig na to? You know what the Lord did again? Because they were living on the righteousness of the Passover love. Because someone died in their place. They were living in that revelation. You know what the Lord did? they murmured, the Lord said to Moses, pick up a stick, a, 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 a branch, throw it in the water. Ano mangyayari po sa, sa water? The water became sweet. And hindi ba po natapos doon? When the water became sweet for them, the Lord led them. They were, they were murmuring. But after they murmured, the Lord led them. Saan? Sa 
ending where there's 12 waters, there's 12 wells of waters and 70 palm trees. It is as if every fresh sin provided fresh grace. They, they were rejoicing. They were uh, uh, with a happy. Nakaisip na naman na ikaw complain. Walang pagkain. So this time, pag, pag, pag murmur po nila, pag, pag complain nila, you know the Lord's answer? Mana. The Lord said, Wake up every morning, very early in the morning, I will provide for you. They rejoice. And then, after ilang days, nakaisip na naman po na ikaw complain. Kasi po yung pumay nila, dinihil na naman yung flow ng tubig. Wala naman po sa nakuha ng tubig. So this time, they murmured, and they said again, Lord, papatayin mo ba kami rito? And then, what the Lord did was this, very wonderful. The Lord spoke to Moses, and the Lord said to Moses, Moses, I want you to strike the rock. And the rock will yield water. Now, ulitin ko po. What, what am I picture? What, what, what am I uh, uh, telling po sa atin today? They were living under the Passover sacrifice. And then what resulted in their life was this. Goodness upon goodness upon goodness in spite of their murmurings. I love po yung sinabi po ni Pastor Chris sa part na yun na pansinin niyo po, even sa dami ng murmurings nila, no one died. Alam po yung sa, sa dami po ng Israelites habang, lum, habang lumalakad sa Red Sea, walang nabagsakan ng balyena. Alam mo yung, yung, uh, alam mo ito, yung, yung balyena, akala niya tubig pa rin. Pag labas yan ganun, wala naman ng tubig. Alam mo yun, no one died. In their, sa dami po nila, sa dami nung nangyari po sa kanila, even the drought, even anything, they were protected by the Lord. No one died. Because why? A lamb died. You think of what? No one suffered. Why? Because the lamb suffered. Oh, could you imagine our life today na because someone died for you. Someone already suffered for you. Today, your life is no longer a suffering. It is an offering. Kaya ako sabi, let us offer the sacrifices. Kung may sacrifices ka man today, oh praise. So, ano po nangyari? Goodness upon goodness upon goodness. Now, ito po yung sad. Ito po yung, kasi po ito po yung pinaka-focus po natin tonight. Excuse me lang po. Yung focus po natin tonight is, di ba po nakuna po tayo dun sa man wants formula? Man wants something to do. After all the blessings po from Exodus chapter uh, 14 up to Exodus chapter 19, finally they were on Mount Sinai. Nung dito sila sa Mount Sinai, God spoke to them and God said to them, meron ako mga commandments na ibibigay ko sa inyo. Are you able to follow them? Ano yung sabi ko ng Israelites is this. Nalimutan ko po yung pinaka-Hebrew word. Kasi yung Hebrew word nila talagang very strong. Pero ang translation po ng sinabi nila is this, Lord, all that you command us to do, we are able. In other words po, in other translations, sinabi is this, Lord, we don't want yung covenant na basing kami sa goodness mo lang. Paano pag one day hindi ka na good? So this time, ngayon na sa Mount Sinai sila, Lord, give us a requirement. Give us a law where we can follow na even kahit hindi ka namin kausapin, as long as we follow the law, we will be blessed. You know po what happened? At the very moment na binaba po yung law, at this time, nag-switch sila ng covenant. Nag-switch sila ng relationship. Dati ang relationship nila is this. The Lord is, is blessing them not based on their performance, but based on the Passover lamb and based on His goodness. Yung Israelites, ayaw nang ganun. Ayaw, ayaw, ayaw kong mamuhay sa kabutihan ng Diyos. Ano kung one day magbago yung kabutihan niya or one day maging malayo kami sa isa-isa? I want, 
I want yung I want something, a, a tangible thing na kaya kong hawakan. I want it based on my performance. I want yung closeness ko kay God based on me. That's what they did sa Mount Sinai. The Bible declares at that time when they said that, the Lord changed stone. Sabi ni Lord is this, Moses, tingin po to, dati, the Lord said, I will cover you with my feathers. The Lord said, I am in your midst. The moment na sinabi nila, I want it based on my performance. Yung feeling ko ng closeness kay God, Lord, it's based on what I will do. The Lord said, Moses, wait. I want you sa bottom lang ng mountain. Don't ever, kahit pa may isang beast ng mountain na mag-touch, beast na mag-touch sa mountain, kailangan batuhin. The Lord changed His stone. And then, the moment po na pagbaba ni Moses, dadala yung Lord, 3,000 people that. You know what's the moral of the story? Man, we love requirements. We love something to do. We want something to boast about. We want something. Pag pagtutunong kay Lord, Lord, I want something to do. Whereas God is saying, I want you to just do it. Nakain din ako ba tayo mga kapatid? Maliwanag po ba tayo? Meron po ba kayong katanungan doon? Now, sabi ko pa sa inyo is this, kapag requirement po kasi, you don't need relationship. And alam po yung pinapansin ko po sa madaming believers, and minsan po sa akin ako, yung, minsan po yung, po yung minsan masyado tayong na-consume ng mga dapat gawin, yung, even yung declarations, alam po yung, wala pong masama sa declarations, pero ito po yung, uh, pasin niyo po kung may isang tao, na na-invite sa kore, kore, kapatid, puta ka sa, sa, sa isang kapatid na nasa hospital, pag-pray mo, alam mo, yung, yung tao na yun, habang nagdara ka sa hospital, di ba alam mo yung nag-gear up, yung parang uh, wonderful. Tapos pagdating na pagdating na sa, sa hospital bed, alam mo yung, yung ano na lang po, parang formula yung dating, in the name of Jesus. Kasi sabi, in the, by the name of Jesus, sabi yan, uh, every sickness will be, uh, tawag mo ito, will be healed. Tapos, in Jesus' name. Tapos, naalala ko, sabi ni Pastor, at nung best siya nag-pray, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. You're healed. You're healed. You're healed. Ano <laughs> yung, wala pong masama sa ganun, but we miss the point that the healing comes because the healer is there. Why not, before you pray for someone, instead of relying on formula, you rely on the relationship. Kapatid, Let's just worship the Lord. Lord, you are good. Your mercy endures forever. God is good. You, you just begin to worship the Lord. That's what I mean. Uh, we rely on our relationship for Him to release His power, not on requirements. So please don't make it a requirement. Uh, sabi ni Pastor Kim, worship daw. So, pag, pag, ano yan yung, uh, pag, pag game, mag, 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 break. Ah, sabi, sabi ni God is good all the time. No, what, what I'm saying is this. We don't rely on, re- on requirements, on what to do. We, re- we rely on our relationship. Uh, the power of our life is dependent on our relationship with Him. I love yung kay, kay Joseph. Ang sinabi kay Joseph is this. The Lord was with him and he was a successful man. It's also Genesis 39 verse 2. Sabi po is this. So the Lord was with Joseph and he was ano po? the success of Joseph was not because madami siyang training the success of Joseph was because the Lord was in other words relationship now tingin po kayo sa akin the gift of righteousness secures that relationship the reason why the Lord gave you the gift Kasi the Lord knows na yung power ng life mo is dependent sa relationship mo before the Lord on His goodness. And now, binabato niya sa iyo yung gift ng righteousness to make you know, Anak, I want you to know na it is the Lord's goodness that will bless you. I want you to know na it is the Lord, your relationship with Him, that will make you successful. But this, I want you to know, kahit may ginawa kang mali, you will never be broken with your relationship with the Lord. Why, Lord? Because I give you the gift of righteousness. 
don't need to rely on requirements. You can rely on your relationship because this relationship is eternal because you have the gift of the righteousness. You don't need to worry the Lord. Paano pag one day bigla na pag gising ko na nakadepende lang ako sa goodness mo? Paano pag one day nakita ka ng ibang mas guwapo, ibang mas maganda, ibang mas committed sa iyo, ibang mas okay mag-commit? The Lord declare, declares, I don't see you. I don't see your performance. I see Jesus' performance over you. The gift of righteousness secures your relationship with God. The gift of righteousness allows you to enjoy closeness with God even when you blow it. The Lord was saying is this, mga kapatid. Jesus was saying, Jesus was uh, in fact saying po sa madami sa atin na, I am here on earth. I will follow all the requirements so that ikaw, you don't need to follow it anymore. Pastor Tim, Baka bumalik, eh anong gagawin ko? Balik po tayo ulit sa John 6. What shall I do? Now you understand the Lord's answer. Bilil had Mayroon tayo papasahin, Romans chapter 10. May hinahin ko ba today? Our gift ng righteousness. Amen. Uh, sabi ko nga po, hindi ko po nasunod. Na, na, na uh, hindi ko po naituloy na sa plano ko po, i- ilagay, kahit na po gawin ko mag-powerpoint, parang hindi po ako talaga pag-powerpoint eh. Siguro po, pag matanda na rin ako, magka-powerpoint. <laughs> 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 anyway, hindi ko po dinidisregard yun. Anyway, pero at, as of the moment po talaga, hindi ko po talaga feel. Anyway, yun, yung, hindi po sa, hindi po sa mas anointed kapag powerpoint or hindi anointed. No, hindi ko na po talaga ramdam. Kasi po, yung turo po ni Pastor is this eh. Ang turo ko po. <laughs> Kung PowerPoint po, siguro ano po nangyari sa PowerPoint ko? Siguro may prepare po ako 200 slides. Tapos preparation na 200 slides. At ituturo lang, one slide. <laughs> Alam mo yan? So, pero anyway, ah, ah, po nito, I was declaring, sabi ko po, uh, Lord, uh, to tonight as we are studying the gift of righteousness, ito po yung mga gusto iparating nila. Right? Ano po is this? Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to God for Israel is that they may be saved. For I bear them witness. Right? Okay. Amen. Ano ba yan? Amen. Amen. Nakatch ko na po yung mismo sabihin kanina. Kasi po, nawala ako. Ang plano po po i-prepare sana sa PowerPoint po is, nilikay po po sana, ano bang ibig sabihin when you declare your righteousness before the Lord? But when you declare that you are righteous before the Lord, this is what you're saying in essence. I am close with the Lord. Every time you declare more, I am righteous with God, you're saying is this, God approves of me. Every time you declare you're the righteousness of God, this is what you declare, God favors me. Because He is close to me. So actually, pasinin po, every time para na ito ang prayer mo, Lord, please, please, be closer sa akin. Hindi mo pala pinipray yung righteousness talaga. What you're praying is your performance. So, to declare you're righteous by faith is to declare you are close with the Lord because of what Jesus has done. Alright? So, ito po yung papasahin natin. Verse, uh, verse 1 ulit, Ate Ivy. Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to God for Israel is that, ano daw po? They may be saved. For I bear them witness that they have a seal for God, but not according to knowledge. For they, being ignorant of God's righteousness. So, meron po palang sense, meron po palang case, wherein you are ignorant of God's righteousness. Every time you are ignorant of God's righteousness, this is what you do. You seek to establish your own righteousness, and you have not submitted to the righteousness Ano daw po? According po sa verse na yan, ang sinasabi po ng verse na yan is this. Hindi daw po alam ng Israel na sila pala ay pwedeng maging right sa pamamagitan ng ginawa ni Jesus. So dahil hindi daw po nila alam yon, ang ginawa nila is this. Sa sarili nila namin paraan, kami magiging malapit sa Diyos. 
Kami na lang gagawa ng paraan para maging malapit sa Diyos. Sige po ka sa akin. When Jesus was here on earth, sabi niya, I am the way, the truth, and the life. You want to get closer kay God? I am the only way. Paano way? Believe in me. And when you believe in me, you get close kay God, God, God. Israelites, the Israel doesn't know it. So sabi nila, because they do not know that righteousness, they sought to establish their own righteousness. Verse 4, this is what I love. For Christ, ano na po? Ano po sabi niya? For Christ is the end of the law for righteousness to everyone who believes. Kanina po kasi, dahil sa pagkawad kong binasa po to, kaya sinasabi ko na, we are no longer relying on requirements in order to be blessed. We are relying on our relationship with God. On the spot that we are close with God because of the gift of righteousness. Sabi ko ng Lord, bakit daw we can disregard na yung mga requirements? Why can we not... <laughs> Pastor Tim, mag-ingat ka sa sinasabi mo. Mag-ingat ka. Alright? Mag-ingat ka. The Lord declared, we don't rely on requirements in order to be blessed. Ay, ito sa'yo sa tanong mo, you don't need to rely on requirements in order to be blessed. Oh dear God, pwede po mo sing lang sa puso po natin ngayon, I don't need requirements in order to be blessed. Pasok po po natin yung pinag we don't require, require, we are not, we don't, we don't rely on requirements in order to get close with God. Ay, Pastor Tim, mag-ingat kasi sila sa amin mo. Uh, Reason po ko bakit po ako may boldness today, kasi meron po ako ipapakita sa inyo ng mga words, precisely from the Word of God. Sinasabi is this, because of Jesus, we stop relying on requirements. We now rely on Jesus. Alright, sabi ko ito is this. For Christ is another book, the end of the law for righteousness to everyone who believes. I love the NLT version. Sabi ko the NLT version is this. The reason why you can now stop relying on requirements to get close to God. Sabi ko steps. Para what they're saying is this. The moment you believe, you are close to God. Kay God. No, wala nang mga step, steps. Instant. Why? Verse 4. For Christ has accomplished the whole purpose of the law. Tingin po kayo sa akin. Ano yung nabasa ko, Pastor Dave? Ba't ka sumigaw? Kasi po, madami na hantok. Joke lang po. Joke lang po talaga. You know po, I just love it po na lumabas ko sa sa and the sarap na basahin. The reason why you can disregard the requirements. We don't disregard the requirements kasi dahil napagod na tayo sa Kanya. Dahil dinidishonor natin yung law ni Lord. Paano pa sa ating yung sinabi ni Lord? That the law of the Lord is faithful. Is, 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 ano yun? Is, kailangan holy. Kailangan i-worship. And we don't disregard it kasi we disregard it lang. We disregard it because according sa Bible, the reason why it's no longer in effect because Christ already Accomplish. Parang nito po. Kung may utang ka sa bangko at nabayaran na yun, magbabayad ka pa rin ba monthly? Bayad na eh. I really believe po na uh, uh, unta lang po sa bangko kasi malayo. Wari meron ka sa kapatid na inutangan. Alright? At nung pag-utang mo na kapatid, nabayaran mo siya ng buong buo. I really know po deep within my heart na on the day after mo mabayaran na ng buong buo, pagkakita mo sa kanya, may all smile ka, you would say, I can now face you without any guilt in my conscience kasi alam ko, bayad na. Diba? Paano ka pag hindi ka mabayad? Ito po ang dahilan ko bakit masama kong mangutang sa kapwa kapatid. Mawawala ka sa church. Why? O yung pinutangan mo sa church, at lagi mo makikita every Sunday at hindi ka nakakabayad. Ito po ang, 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 ito po ang physical illustration ng condemn. <laughs> Di ba po parang, ito pa, kahit mo yung kapatid mo sabihin sa'yo, kahit yung kapatid mo sabihin sa'yo, okay lang, kahit hindi mo mabayaran, 
okay na okay lang. The mere fact na alam mo meron kang utang sa kanya, ikaw mismo nahihiya kang lumapit. Alam mo yun, no? paparating ka pa lang sa church, plano mo dito ka sa harap, uh, pumukok, nakita mo siya nandun, dito na lang. Tapos pagtapos na ng worship, plano mo kamus- kamayan si pastor. Pero pag kamay mo kay pastor, kasi bless na bless ka, nakita mo itong kapatid na may utang ka, lumalapit pa buta sa'yo, ay huwag na lang, next Sunday na lang. Why? Because there's still guilt in your conscience. Why? Because you know it's not yet paid. But Christ paid it all. So that today you no longer have any guilt in your conscience. Christ accomplished the whole purpose of the law. That's why today you can just say, Law, yes, you're holy. Law, yes, you are good. But I am no longer required to say goodbye. God bless you. Uh, Diyan na lang para sa mga unbelievers para i-bring sila kay Christ. Ngayon na ako ay na kay Christo na. Hello? Bye-bye. Ipag-gadbami ka kay sa law. Saan ka tumatakbo? Kay Christ. Yes. Hindi po ikaw tumatakbo sa lawlessness. Tumatakbo ka sa Christfulness. Maliwanag po tayo. Ibabasahin mo po tayo. Are you ready? So, why, why can you now Stop relying on requirements because what? Galatians chapter 2. Are you ready for all of this? Galatians chapter 2, verse 16. Tell me what is this? Uh, NLT. And yet we Jewish Christians know that we become right with God not by doing. Ano po sabi sa we become right with God not by doing. Ano mo ibig sabihin not by doing what the law commands? Yung, hindi mo kailangan ayusin yung buhay mo para maging right ka before the Lord. Kailangan mo lang i-receive that because of Jesus I am already right before the Lord. Ah. Alam mo kung ano natanggal nun? Effort mo. Ano natanggal natanggal nun? Yung pagpapakapagod mo na ayusin yung sarili mo. Ang kailangan mo lang gawin, Lord, I receive it. Alright? Not by doing what the law commands, but by ano daw po? Alright, so kailangan daw po may faith kanina kay Jesus Christ. So we have believed in Christ Jesus that we might be accepted by ano daw po? Now, look at the word. Kailan ka na-accept before the Lord? When you are right in your ministry? Kailan ka ina-accept before the Lord? When you are not doing anything wrong? You are accepted before God when you believe in Christ Jesus. Ah. Ito po yung mga dahilan po mga kapatid. Bakit pag punta mo sa, sa church, kahit po nag-away kayo ng asawa mo on the way sa church, at anong pinag-awayan nyo? Kasi hindi siya nagising ng maaga. Dahil hindi siya nagising ng maaga, ikaw tuloy na late. Uh, uh, ito po yung mga normal na away. Yun, yung, or yung normal na awa, yung hindi inayos siya, dapat ayos siya. Ayun, kahit pag andito ka ngayon, you can still lift up your hands and worship the Lord because your acceptance before the... Madami po kasi ganito. Pagdating dito, nag-away sila, they, they can't raise their hand. Kasi sabihin nila ito, maybe the Lord may not accept my worship. Kasi I'm, I'm failing. I'm a failure. The Lord declares, every time you believe on Jesus, regardless, regardless of what you have done, you are accepted before the Lord. Kahit pa, nag-away kayo ng asawa mo at may sinabi ka sa kanya hindi maganda. At pag hindi, mag-away mo, hindi mag, pag-salitahan mo, ito talaga, ganyan, 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 ganyan. Uh, wala ka nang pinagbago. Uh, tawag nito, uh, nagmura ka pa. Tapos yung patay ko yung preacher. <laughs> Pag-pag-pagating mo dito, you can still expect the favor of God to flow because He will accept your preaching not because na may ginawa ka. He accepts your preaching because you have just believed you are the righteousness of God apart from your works. Kaya hindi ako manan. Alright, sabi ko rin So we have believed in Christ Jesus that we might be accepted by God because of our faith in Christ and not kung sa kaya daw hindi sa kukuha ng mga tao. Not because kung hindi ko natin ba sa akin? Not because and if ever may feeling ka na close na kay God kasi ikaw ay nakapagpasa 20 chapters a day, the Lord declared you are not accepted because you have obeyed that law. 
You are not close because you are okay. You are close because you just believe in Jesus. Alright? Not because we have obeyed the law, for no one will ever be saved by obeying the law. But what if we seek to be made right with God through faith in Christ and then find out that we are still sinners? Has Christ led us into sin? Of course not. Rather, I make myself guilty if I rebuild the old system I already According sa Bible, kailangan nagiging sinner? Ay kapatid, bago ka maging malapit sa Diyos, kailangan manami kang gumit. The Bible declares, you make yourself guilty if you rebuild the old system. Ano yung old system? The old system ng law. Madami ka kailangan pagtrabahuhan para maging close ka before the Lord. Ay kapatid, bago ka mag-request ng car, kailangan madami pang seminars na kailangan natin natin. Kasi yung faith mo, hindi pa pang kotse. Kotse, kotse hat. No! The mere fact you believe in Jesus and His righteousness, you are entitled for all the good things in life. Because your righteousness is based not on your works, but on Jesus. Alright? This is what I love. For when I tried to keep the law, I realized I could never earn. Can you know highlight that? If there is a Bible, what do is this? For when I tried to keep the law, I realized I could never earn God's approval. So I died to the law so that I might live for God. I have been crucified with Christ. Uh, I kayo mga hanapin yung second edition, uh, SD, kasi iba po talaga yung second edition. Hallelujah. Nakikita niyo po ba? Kaya, kaya po sasabi, we don't now rely on works. We don't rely on on requirements because Jesus already is the end of the law for requirements. Alright? Nahanap na ako. Alright? Basahin na lang po. Okay lang po ba? Sabi po is this. Uh, NLT 2nd edition. Sabi po is this. Uh, for when I tried to keep the law, it condemned me. So I died to the law. I stopped trying to meet all its requirements so that I might live for God. Amen. Anak, thank you sa'yo. Amen. Pwede ko po, sabi mo sa Bible is this. For when I tried to keep the law, it condemned me. So I died to the law, I stopped trying to meet all its. Ito po yung basihan sila sabi ko kanina, that because of the righteousness of it, you can stop trying to meet the requirements and just stop, start running to Jesus. Sabi, stop trying to meet all its requirements so that I might live for God. Maliwanag po ba tayo mga kapatid? Amen po ba? Pwede mo ba turn to your partner po muna bago po tayo magkapos? Ano na kukuha mo sa ating pinag-aralan ngayon? Ito talaga naman sa study. ibig sabihin lang doon na easy sa trabaho, light sa trabaho, kasama po yun. Pero ang pinaka sinasabi ni Jesus is this, marami po mga tao kasi napapakapagod maging malapit sa Diyos. God said, I, I, I bring a new way. I, I bring a new way to get closer to God. I, I bring a new way to earn 
to, to receive his favor. What way is that? Drop all your efforts. Rely on Jesus and you are close to him. For the longest time, for people tried their very best to meet the requirements. The Lord said, I will meet it on your behalf. And as I said, for Christ is the end of the law, of requirements. The reason why you can disregard it because Jesus fulfilled it on your behalf. Now, what is left of you? What is left? What is? And what does God want you to do now? Only be. Now, ito ang mga i-qualify bago tayo magtapos kasi tapos ito tayo. Ito po, yung, ito po yung second edition. Second edition is for when I tried to keep the law, it condemned me. So I died to the law. I stopped trying to meet all its requirements so that, hindi po kusap ako na-bless dito, you are only able to live for God when you try to, when you stop trying to meet Right? Now, please don't get me wrong po, mga kapatid. I, I think I need to qualify po yung sarili ko before po tayo magtapos. I need to qualify po yung sarili ko na. Kasi po, sa, what I'm really saying is this. We we, do, we don't rely now on the law to get closer to God. We don't rely on the law to uh, po ito, to to get the blessings of God. What I'm going to say is this. I really need po to be in, in your presence sa sabihin ko. Pastor Tim, kung hindi na tayo susunod sa law, kung hindi disregard natin yung law, ano na mangyayari sa tao? Ito pong common na tanong. Ano, anong, anong result pag tinanggal ng law? Lawless. Yun po ang inisip. Pero, na-miss po ng madami, yung sinasabi sa Bible is this. The reason why God removed the law because He replaced it with a different kind of law. Sabi ko sa Bible, the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus and the law of love. The reason he disregarded the law is he replaced it with the law of life and the law of love. Now, listen to me. Please never think po that when you stop trying to meet the law, mamumuhay na yung mga tao ng ano yun yun, yung bahala na, sinful na, kasi kung si Mom na pala itry, ikip yung law. No, ako din ako nung nalala niyo po yung nalala niyo po yung illustration ko last week na tinatayo ko po si Con dito na God has put in your heart sabi po sa Hebrews 8 God has put God has written His law in your heart and in your mind pag pinagalala niyo po na maigi yun what the Lord is speaking is the law of love now, pinagalala niyo po ito yung law and the law of love pinagalala niyo po yung difference sa law sa law basta sabi sa, sa, sa law thou shall not commit adultery yun lang po yung law yung batas parang butang mga ngalod niya, huwag ka maghahanap ng ibang asawa. Pastor Tim, pag tinanggal yung law na yan, kasi sabi, I stopped trying to keep the law. Iyon yung law na yan. Don't commit adultery. So, ibig sabihin, baka yung ibang mga may asawa dito, kasi wala na yung law. Don't stop the trying to meet its requirement. Okay, hindi na ako magtatry na huwag mga ngalod niya. So, baka madami, Pastor Tim, na mag... Ano lang gawin? They miss the point that the Lord has put a different law in the heart. The law of love. Ano yung law of love? Love your wife. Yun yung po sa akin. Yun yung po to. Sa dalawang law, sino ang mas higher? Nung, yung law na don't commit adultery, pwede yung hindi ka nga nangangalun niya pag dumamahal yung asawa mo. Wala ka lang choice na sabi. Napipot ka, nasabi yung yes. So now, you're just waiting na ma-rapture at pagdating ng rapture, single ka ulit. But you don't love your wife. But this time, in this new covenant, God has given you a new heart. And this time, the reason why He doesn't want you to keep it because it's already in your heart. How will you keep something na ando na sa heart mo? How will you try to do something na nasa mind mo na? Every true believer of God hindi na makitibihan. Why they fall in love with their spouse over and over and over again? They don't understand. Bakit? Ganyan yung photo. Every time, ah, ewan ko po kung may mag, ah, mag-a-agree sa akin sa mga, sa mga mag-asawa. Di ba po? After the good worship, anong reaction natin po mga lalaki? 
Alam mo, pare, the annoying thing is there. Alam mo, anong first reaction mo? Without telling anybody na to love the wife. Ako po, personally, pag pare, nag-preach po ako, it was a good preaching. It was a good message. Alam mo, ang unang reaction ng heart ko, bababa, pagbaba ko, yaya, habit ko asawa. And I am not doing that because I was called by God to love her. I was doing that because as I was focused on Jesus, the law of love was just... The second word is this. Stop trying. Start trusting. And just allow, as you declare you are the righteousness of God, apart from your works, whatever I have put in your heart, lalabas. Ang problema ng dati, they try, they try, they try, walang lumalabas. Today, the one thing that what God wants you to do is this. Trust, trust, kusang lalabas. So this is the reason why, sabi po ni Apostle Paul, in disregarding the law, actually, we are fulfilling the law. Because what we have, the law, the higher law of love, we are fulfilling the law. Do not commit adultery and above. So please don't be scared that when you stop trying to keep the law, you will become lawless or when your children hear about this, they will become lawless. No, you will give an opportunity for the law that God has written in their heart to shine. Pastor Tim, can you explain further this law of love? Look na, especially po, I'm, I'm talking po sa, ito po si, sa karanasan po lang po sa bilang asawa, ito po yung naranasan ko, the more I focus on Jesus, the more I I stop relying on the law completely, parang, sige, Lord, hindi na ako titingin dyan, titingin lang ako sa goodness mo. Ito po, the more I look on His goodness, the more I look on His righteousness, may mga gising ako sa umaga na gusto ko nalang pupugin ng halik yung asawa ko. And I am not meeting yung law na do not commit adultery. Without me noticing it, I am committing yung law of love. Tinan niyo balik tayo sa sinabi, kailan lumalabas yung law of love na yan? Kailan lumalabas yung life of God na yan? When you stop, we said po again, when yung life ni Lord, kailan lumalabas? Oh. At kakaintindihan po ba tayo ngayon mga kapatid? Maliwanag po ba na kayo? Are we clear? Amen. Amen. Last for today, as we end, right, dito po tayo gusto iwan. Alright, so, ano po what the Lord is saying? Anak, stop relying on the requirements. Just stop Start relying on what Jesus has done for you, on the righteousness of God in Jesus. Start seeing Him, and you know what? The light will be released. Meron po sinabi si Lord, ito dito po 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 gusto to end. Sa Galatians chapter 5. Amen. Ano yung po matagal po po gusto to ilabas yun? Yung, when we stop relying on the law, actually, the life of God is being released. Uh, napasin niyo na po ba yung, natry niyo na po ba yung tinry mo na mag, ano, yung mag uh, gawa ng law sa sarili mo na kailangan maging mabait, kailangan maging mabait, kailangan maging mabait, kailangan maging mabait. Diba yung, ano yun, yung the night, parang napansin mo, parang binungangahan mo yung pamilya mo, parang gusto mo next day, bago ka na. So, parang ano yun, yung minimeditate mo sa sarili mo, tomorrow I'm a new person, tomorrow, Mabait ako. Tomorrow, mabait ako. You know what you're trying to do? You're meeting the requirements. You're looking on the requirements to make you right before your family. You know? Ano pong sinasabi ng experience? Every time you try that, every time you rely on requirements, every time you teach yourself the requirements, what happens? You fail. Try this. Sakaling that day, parang, Sirang sira. The next day, Lord, I am the righteousness of God. I don't need to try to be holy. I am already holy. I don't need to try to be good. I am good because I am the righteousness of God. 
Lord, I receive everything good sa iyo. I am good. You know what happens? You find yourself just parang without any effort na re-release yung life of God. Maliwanan ko. Last four verses is Galatians 5 verse 1 at sige, I read sa New King James Version. Itong po tayo sa Kiwan. Stand fast, therefore. Ano po ano pong sasabi ng Lord is this? Tonight, you are already set free from the law of requirements. You know what the Lord is, wants to say? Stand fast, therefore, in the liberty by which Christ Ano po ibig sabihin na ito? Darating yung mga time na pwede, may, may mababasa ka. Wari, nagkakalabukan, nagkakalabukan kayo ng, ng asawa mo. May mababasa ka. Ten steps to fix your marriage. You know what? The Lord doesn't want you running on what to do. The Lord wants you running on the righteousness of God in you. So, what that, ano sa sabi ni Lord? Stand fast on your liberty. As tempted as you are na we follow you. Steph, kung sabihin mo, I stop trying to meet all the requirements. And because of Jesus, I am already there. So, stand fast. Ano po? Stand fast. Pag, pag wala may nagsabi sa'yo, may nakausap ka, pwedeng pastor, pwedeng worker, you know what, kapatid, kailangan mong uh, training para yung blessing na hinahanap mo, makuha mo. Wala po masama sa training, pero kapag ginagawa mo yung training para makuha mo yung blessing, doon po nagkakamali. You know, stand fast ka. No, 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 no. I really believe in my heart. I am blessed not because I am keeping the requirements. I am blessed because I am the righteousness of God in Jesus. Stand fast! Pero sabi mo, stand fast! Stand fast! In your case, sit still. <laughs> Right? Kasi mo nakaupo po kayo ngayon. Right? Stand fast, therefore, in the liberty by which Christ has made you free. And do not, ano daw po? Do not be entangled again with the yoke of... Ang ibig sabihin, may possibility po pala bumalik. Ngayon na ikaw ay free na, na you are already close kay God, may possibility na mag-isip mo ulit. Ay, teka lang. Mahirap na na paniwalaan, too good to be true, na I am already close before the Lord. I think I need to do something. Stand fast. Verse 2, sabi po is this, Indeed I, Paul say to you, <laughs> very applicable, Indeed I, Paul, <laughs> say to you, that if you become circumcised, Christ will profit you nothing. And I testify again to every man who becomes circumcised, that he is a debtor to keep the whole law. Verse 4. You have become estranged from Christ, you who attempt to be justified. This is what I would like to leave the congregation. Every time you attempt to get close to God, even mo yung i-receive mo lang yung closeness, i-attempt mo. Parang may gising ka ng umaga, you feel far from the Lord, and instead na i-receive mo lang yung righteousness, hindi, hindi, kailangan ko, kailangan ayusin ko, kailangan yung mga gawin ako. You attempt. Every time you attempt, you know po ano nangyayari? You become, ano daw po nangyayari every time you attempt? You have fallen from, hindi po kayo sa akin mga kapatid. Pwede po sa Bible, hindi kayo nagpo-fall sa grace kapag nagkasala ka. Nagpo-fall ka sa grace kapag pinry mo, ayusin yung sarili mo. Maniwanag po ba? NLT, IV. For if you are trying to make yourselves right with God by keeping the law, you have been cut off from Christ. You have fallen away from God's kahit hindi ang batayo. Alright? Pastor Tim, anong kailangan mong gawin na lang? Verse 5. Alright? King James Version. For we, through the Spirit, eagerly, ano daw po? What's the word? What's the word? Tignan niyo po daw. Verse 4. Ang kabalik na lang ng wait is what? Uh, sa New King James, kapat, uh, kapat, uh, IV. Ang kabalik na lang ng wait is what? Attempt. Hindi ko po. Every time... <laughs> Pastor T, hindi mo alam ang waiting! <laughs> Kabalik na lang po ng waiting is what? 
Kahit kami mag-asawa ko, we are attempting to get a child. Totoo po yun. The, 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 the word na kailangan gamitin, we are waiting for the manifestation. Because we know, wala nang balik. We are already right before the Lord. Kaya hindi ako matayang, right? Ever there is this, verse 5, For we to the Spirit eagerly, and the what? Wait for the hope of righteousness by faith. Yung the po, righteousness by faith, may dinadalang pag-asa sa'yo. So, ano na lang kailangan mong gawin as you declare that ikaw ay righteous before the Lord? Maghinta. Maliwanag po ba tayo? Ano ang wag na wag mong gagawin? Verse 4. Ano ang kailangan natin gawin? Ano ang wag na wag mong gagawin? Hallelujah. Maliwanag po ba tayo mga kapatid? Maliwanag po ba? Amen po ba? Ayunin po tayo lahat today. Amen? Yun po, ay, 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 yung slide ay pasok po, uh, sa mga kawari mayroon po mga uh, habits na hindi maganda, don't attempt. Don't attempt by your willful, para ikaw ay cigarette smoker, kailangan mo, gusto mo tanggalin yung magiging cigarette smoker. Uh, Iha-attempt ko, Pastor Tim, uh, ngayon, uh, two cases ako per day, iha-attempt ko, bawasan nyo, ng one case na lang per day, don't attempt. Don't try to meet the requirements. Trust, wait, believe in Jesus who is your righteousness. Yeah. Yeah. Pastor Tim, paano pag pag kami mangyari, no, nothing bad will happen sa iyo. Pagkasabi sa Bible, no grave danger will overtake the righteous. Continue believing. Continue waiting. Kaya niyo po ito. Bago lumabas si Isaac at Abraham, ano ginawa ni Abraham? naghintay. Nung hindi siya makapaghintay kay Isaac, anong ginawa ni Abraham? Nag-try. Sino lumabas nung nag-try si Abraham? Si Ishmael. Sinong kalaban ni Isaac? Yung trying niya. Hallelujah. Maliwanag ko ba tayo? Amen ko ba? Amen? Amen? Pwede ba sa limang pwede mo? You are the righteousness of God. Okay, guys. Can we all stand po, mga kapatid? Can we give the Lord the best clap offering tonight? Imagine po, mga kapatid, waking up every day knowing you are close with God. Marami po sa ating mga believers, even up to now, matanong, Lord, paano pag hindi na ako close sa'yo? Imagine waking up every day. No, tingin po kayo sa'kin mga kapatid. Tingin po kayo sa'kin. The Lord wants is this. Na paglabas mo pala ng bahay, you have this sense na ang heaven bukas na bukas sa'yo. And every time you pray, the reason why God wants you na baunin yung Faith and righteousness, this is what God wants you to, to know. Every time you pray, you know you will be heard. Yes. All because you are a friend of God, not by works, but by Jesus. God wants you to know that every time may need, every time na may insufficiency, supply is rushing sa iyo. Not because iniintay ni Lord gawin mo yung tama. Iniintay ni Lord mo paniwalaan mo yung tama. Iniintay ni Lord na you the blessing to rush sa'yo just to declare, Lord, I declare I am the righteousness of God. The Lord wants all of us to know po mga kapatid. And this is my heart po as a worship leader. Alam niyo ba yun yung I understand na may mga times na Pag, pag punta ko ng umaga, Sunday, yung kailangan i, i, ano yun, i-pump yung congregation. Pero ano po, how wonderful would it be at the very start pala ng Sunday, majority of the congregation feels they are close with God. Imagine what worship will be. Because in reality, you are already close with Him. He wants you to just receive it. Imagine po na may mo maintindihan bakit 
hindi pa mo pinag-pray yung pangangailangan mo dumarating na again. Because, you know what? You and God are close. God sees no spot sa iyo. And imagine po ito, mga kapatid, imagine ito. Na, ito po yung pinakita sa akin ni Lord. Na, anak, I don't want you to just i- 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 reserve, i- reserve mo sa sarili mo lang na, na wala ang mali sa iyo, na you are righteous. I want you to start seeing also, even sa family mo, there's righteousness. Even sa family mo, no more wrong. Pastor, hindi nakakita pa ako ng wrong. Kaya nga, you see it by faith. You see it by faith na Jesus already fulfilled all the wrongs. And ikaw ngayon, stop trying to fix it. Stop trying to, to fix your family mo. Stop trying to fix your career mo. Because you are the righteousness of God. Pastor, then what do I need to do? Sit still, relax, trust Him, and wait. Pastor Tim, how do I know may mangyayari? Because you are the righteousness of God. I would like to release po mga kapatid, how amazing righteousness ni Lord. Alam ni Lord na mahal na mahal ni Abraham si Lot. Walang kaalam-alam si Abraham sa mangyayari kay Lot. Such amazing the closeness they have with the Lord na kailangan pang ipaalam ni Lord yung gagawin niya kay Abraham. All because Abraham was the righteousness of God in Jesus. You don't need na kailangan mo malaman lahat na nangyayari sa pamilya ko, kailangan mo malaman lahat na nangyayari sa karir ko, para maayos. No, relax. Because everything is okay. The God who is close with you will allow you to know it. Relax. Allow His righteousness can we give up our heads today? Hallelujah. So good. Can you sense it? Can you sense it right now? So we give you praise. As you lift up your hands, relax. Rest. This time, as we lift up our hands, it's a sign of surrender. Surrender to what? Trying. Trying to get close. Trying to get right. Right now, breathe the freedom God gives. Because God said, because of Jesus, He made you close with God. Because of Jesus, He made you righteous. As you lift up your hand, can it be a symbol? The Lord, I am stopping all my work. I am stopping all my efforts. I am stopping all my trying. And right now, I am starting believing. Believing in what you have done. Believing in the cross. Believing in the righteousness of Jesus in me. Father God, as I lift up my hand, I declare, because I am the righteousness of God, heaven is open to me because I am the righteousness of God. Favor is following me everywhere I go. Because I am the righteousness of God, all my prayers are answered before the Lord. Because I am the righteousness of God. And I will declare this for Because I am the righteousness of God, I will always experience His presence. I will always experience His anointing. I will always experience His freedom because I am His righteousness. Father God, maraming maraming salamat for the night. Thank you, Lord God, for allowing us to see, Lord God, na the gift of righteousness na binigay mo sa amin. Father God, tonight is the end ng pag-aaral namin sa righteousness. But Lord, our whole life, Lord, we will begin to learn, even little by little, what it really means to be righteous with you. Father God, I am right now committing everyone na nandito ngayon, na in their lives, Lord, that every benefit, that every blessing that is accompanied by being the righteousness of God, manifest into their lives today. Father God, I am declaring right now, the Lord, ikaw mismo, in their personal life, we will reveal to them 
the reality, the beauty, okay, the gift of righteousness in their life. Okay, I am declaring right now that many people right now here, every one of us, will experience such closeness that we have never experienced before. But that is how we look at even our devotion will be changed. Even our quiet time will be changed. Not because we are trying to, but because we are just believing we are already close. Yes. Yes. But that is how Lord will start to experience hearing from you. Okay, for the longest time, Madam is Amen, trying our very best to hear from you, to be led by you. But Lord, right now, as we are believing, we are the righteousness of God. We will experience, Lord, that even without us noticing, we are following or leading everywhere we go. Amen. You have written your law, your law in our heart and in our mind. Father God, I declare that as we believe, that we are righteous because of Jesus. Every wrong thing in our life is finished right now. And right now we believe we are right because of you. Everything in our life is in order because of you, Jesus. Everything in our life, Lord God, is in your plans because we are in your because we are the righteousness of God. We bless you. We give you all the glory in the mighty name of Jesus and all God's people say.